Melissa, how is this different from any other flea market uh, uh -huh. in the Northeast? Well, first of all, it's farm and flea. So it's uh, the way that we came up with the, uh, the gateway to this was uh, when I moved to the region and I noticed that Black Friday had like an effect around here. And I thought, but with all the amazing talent, all the farmers, all the makers, the artisans, uh, why don't we have an anti one and just have local only? So having the farmers and the makers all in one place uh, was one. And then there's so many antique dealers and Hudson's and collectors. So being able to have a triangle of farm, flea, and artisanal makers of anything, everything. I mean, cutting boards, bags, beautiful textile work. So uh, it really was inspired by the region. Of course, our building can, can house up to, you know, over 100 vendors. But it really is that there was nothing like it. And I could see all the beauty that people were making and working so hard. You know, small company, small individual owned companies and made by hand and I wanted to be able to create an event that celebrated all of that. So Basilica Farm and Flea we hope can be a gateway to introducing and having a platform for all the for all the uh, farmers, makers and collectors in the region and all the all the vendors are from within 30 miles, you know, it's very, so it's really exciting. Now, a lot of people are spending their Mother's Day here. Yeah, well, it's a Mother's Day flea market because it's Mother's Day, and we're having a Mother's Day brunch with our favorite uh, Hudson restaurant, Little Filio Bread, and Rivertown Lodge, new uh, hotel in town, have done the beautiful bar, and it's uh, supposed to be like bring your mother down and uh, you know learn something about artisanal sausages or like vintage summer dresses, it's that kind. Of Yeah.